20 insights on management theory. 11. Management textbooks celebrate team working but have forgotten earlier concerns about the loss of individuality, creativity and critical thinking. If you have ever applied for a job, it's likely that being a team player would have been high on the list of required attributes. Being skilled at working with others in groups is seen as providing benefits for employees and organizations. However, team working does have its limitations. In the 1950s, psychologist Solomon Ash ran an experiment that highlighted conformity pressures within groups. Participants gave answers they knew were wrong just to fit in with others. Also in the 1950s, William H. White came up with the concept of groupthink to describe the loss of individuality and critical thinking in groups. Interestingly, few management textbooks acknowledge White as the founder of groupthink. That credit goes to Irving Janis, who used the concept 19 years after White. Why does management studies not recognize White? It might have something to do with his strong criticism of what he saw as the field's unhealthy obsession with group dynamics. In contrast, Janice's concept is more supportive of team working and a better fit with a managerial perspective that dominates most textbooks.